guys, welcome to our session about word problems. Today we're going to learn how to solve word problems. Let's start. Word problems need to be set up this way. Let's say that they give you two people working on a project, or maybe two machines working on a project, or three people, or anything that has to do with work. Basically, I'm going to always set up my formula like this. 1 divided by the work of that person or the machine and so on plus the second person, the second machine, all that equals to 1 over the total. Let's do an example to understand this formula. Let's say that I have this question. Vanessa can paint a room in 5 hours. Peter can paint the same room in 4 hours. How many hours can they paint the room at the same rate? Now, I need to go ahead and set up my formula. I remember that I can do 1 divided by the work of one person plus 1 divided the work of the other person equals to 1 over the total. V is going to be equals to 5. Peter is going to be equals to 4. And we're looking for the total. If they both work together, how long will that take to paint that room? Let's do it. Now, I see that I have 1 fifth plus 1 fourth. I need to go ahead and add 1 fifth plus 1 fourth. Do I have the same denominator? Remember, anytime you have a fraction, you need to have the same denominator. Since I don't, I need to go ahead and do some magic here. And I'm going to multiply this guy by 4. And I'm going to multiply this guy by 4. But whatever I do here, I have to do it here. Moreover, I have to multiply this guy by 5 and this guy by 5. That way I can have the same denominator because 4 times 5 is going to be 20 and 4 times 5 is going to be 20. Now that I do that, I also do the top. This is going to be 4, this is going to be 5 and I get 4 over 20 plus 5 over 20 equals to 1 over 10. Now that I have the same denominator, I can just go ahead and keep it and then just add the top. 4 plus 5 is going to be 9 now, I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply, and I have 9 times t equals to 20 times 1. Beautiful. Finally, I can go ahead and divide both sides by 9. And I get that t equals to 20 over 9. We need to go ahead and make this fraction into a mixed number. Once I do it, I get that if they both work together, they're going to paint the room in 2 and 2 ninth hours. And that makes sense. If Vanessa works by herself, it will take her five hours. If Peter works by himself, it will take him four hours. But if they both work together, it just basically will be like two hours and something minutes. Beautiful. Let's do another one. This is a typical problem that I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen before. A pool can be filled by one pipe in four hours and by a second pipe in three hours. How long would it take using both pipes to fill the pool? All right, I need to set it up the same way. 1 divided by pi 1 plus 1 divided by pi 2 is equal to 1 over t. By the way, if you had another pipe, then you would just add plus 1 over pi over 3. Since they're filling the pool, I have to do positive. If they were draining the pool, then I would have to put a negative sign. But that will be another problem. Let's just concentrate on this one. Pipe 1 can do it in 4 hours. Pipe 2 can do it in 3 hours. Let's figure it out what is the value of t. I just set it up the same way as I had it before. Now I need to go ahead and add 1 third plus 1 fourth. Remember, anytime I add a fraction, I need to have the same denominator. I don't have it here. But I can multiply this guy by 4. Whatever I do on the bottom has to be done to the top then this guy by 4, then this guy by 3, and again the same thing by 3. If you're having trouble adding fractions, please watch the other videos, and I promise you then this is going to be a piece of cake. Now I have 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12. I'm going to get 3 over 12 plus 4 over 12. I have the same denominator, I keep it, and I add the top. Now, I can go ahead and cross multiply, and I get 7t equals to 12. Now, I divide both sides by 7, 
and I get that t is equal to 12 over 7. Converting this fraction into a mixed number, I get that if I go ahead and turn on both pipes, I can fill the pool in 1 and 5 seventh hours. Love it! As you can see, work problems can be very easy, so I hope today you learn a lot. I can't wait to see you next time, and again, thanks so much for learning.